This section is an introduction for the TrueClient toolbar. This is Save button, Save the script. This drop-down button is script level, which modifies the script levels that are visible and played in the script, used to filter out steps that are not necessary for the business flow. This is Action drop-down for Action Selector. You can use it to select the actions you want to work on. This button is for Manage Actions, which enables you to add, edit, or delete actions in your script. Actions represent different parts of your business process in the form of a series of sequential steps. This is step box that enhances your script by manually adding steps to it from the step box. Open and close the step box by clicking the button. This is the record button. Start recording the script. Additionally, you can click the drop down arrow and specify whether to record before, after, or into a selected step. This is the play button. Place the script. Additionally, you can click the drop down arrow and specify whether to play the selected step only or to run the script step by step. This is the stop button. Stops playing or recording the script. This is toggle breakpoint, which inserts or removes a breakpoint in the selected step. Breakpoints can be used for debugging scripts by instructing the script to stop running during a replay. These two buttons are undo and redo, which will reverse your last action or restores your original change. This is transaction edit button, which enables you to define transactions, which measures the time between two points in a business. This lets you analyze the time spent in different sections of the process after running a test. This button is event handler editor, opens the event handler editor, enabling you to create handlers to manage unexpected or unpredicted events that can occur during the script replay. The last button is for snapshot viewer, which is used to view and compare snapshots of interactive steps during recording and replay of a true client script. See you next session.